tell them to go away. I want my baby. This is my special place for me and Michael and Ryan. Where is she? You killed her. You brought them here to kill me, to take me away. I won't let you. I'm going to kill you. Slow, slow. She's gonna use the knife. Brian, if you kick that door open, my mother's dead. You lied. Now just leave, or I'll kill her. You won't. You just watch. I'll kill her, and then you, You and won't then... kill, Amy. You can't. You don't know anything. I know you didn't kill your baby. You didn't kill your baby. You didn't. It wasn't your fault. You hate killing. You wanted your baby. You loved it. You cared so much. Other people let you down. But some people helped. Dr. Cooper, help. He's waiting. He has a safe place for you. Nice place to talk. The roses by the stairs. I... I... Dr. Cooper knows you, Amy. He knows that you're a good person and you wouldn't hurt anybody. Come on, Amy. Let me take you to him. You lied. Charles, here's what you need to know. Elizabeth, I didn't mean to hurt you. Well, I this swear. I could have hurt the baby. The baby? I'm pregnant. I think the real issue is whether I'm going to agree to the chemo at all. I want you to take another blood test. Check for HIV. I just took a few pills, and then I spread the rest around the bed to make it look like a real suicide attempt. You realize you could have died tonight? Keep up to date with General Hospital. Weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Keep up with the lives and loves of Genoa City's residents. Jack and Sharon were giving each other looks across the table. Looks? I think what's going on between them is a little past the kissing stage. Watch this week's episodes of The Young and the Restless, Saturday starting at 7 on SoapNet. America loves the view. It's bold. <laughs> Rosie rocks. What's all the fuss about? Over 4 million viewers agree. The View's 10th season takes the cake. Oh, it's a whole new view, only on ABC. Go on. You go. It's Halloween. But you're the dad. You're Superman. Spook it up with Halloween lawn decor. Eight-foot Grim Reaper globe, only at Kmart. If there's one thing dogs love, it's meat. That's why we made our Healthy Nuggets even meatier. Crunchy on the outside and meaty on the inside. New Healthy Nuggets, only from Pedigree. 
Everybody's talking about Oust air sanitizer. This is my buddy, Rusty. Ooh. Musty, Rusty. Oust cleans <laughs> and sanitizes the air and uh, eliminates the odor. Lysol is a surface spray. Oust eliminates odors in the air. Oust air sanitizer kills odor-causing bacteria in the air. When you come back into the room, it's like, ah. Clean and fresh. Oust is the best thing. Get odor-causing bacteria out with Oust air sanitizer. SC Johnson & Family Company. You can spray the house with Oust and man and dog can live happily together. <laughs> If you have osteoarthritis knee pain, here's some comforting news. You don't have to let OA knee pain control your life. Synvisc is an FDA-approved joint fluid treatment that may give you up to six months of OA knee pain relief without surgery. It's not a pill, and it's been used in more than 2 million knees in the U.S. In knees with osteoarthritis, the natural fluid in the knee can break down. Synvisc replaces this diseased knee fluid. To learn more, call 1-888-514-2229. Synvisc delivers great pain relief, which may improve your mobility. Synvisc may not work for everyone. Before beginning treatment, tell your doctor if you're allergic to products from birds, such as feathers, eggs, or poultry, or if your leg is swollen or infected. The most common side effects are temporary pain, swelling, and or fluid buildup around the knee. Synvisc has not been tested in children, pregnant women, or women who are nursing. To learn more, call 1-888-514-2229 or go online today. Please, D. I lose everybody I love. Family, friends, parents, and now... Look, D. D, I can live without this nonsense, huh? So please, just hold it in, huh? Well, I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, I can't just yell and smoke cigarettes and not show anything. Then I don't have heart trouble either. What? I said, my heart is troubled about me. Uh -huh. You think they'll find her? Of course. When? This afternoon, all right? Now we've got Ryan back. Can't you be happy about that? Can't you be happy about anything? I, I have bad feelings. Well, stop them. And don't you dare have any premonitions about Maeve, all right? Now, they found Ryan, they're gonna find Maeve. Just hang on to that idea. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes, and then I'm going down there. Frank said we can't. Not we. Me. Well, you especially can't. Well, it's true. You know what the doctor told you? Oh, Dee, I am not sick. The doctor just... a flying pad. Huh? Which one, sweetheart? The one the picture of Ken George Jones on the cover. Oh. Um... Well, uh, well, look, uh, little John, if you want a pad to draw on, there's, uh, there's a pad of paper on the shelf in the kitchen next to Grammy's lists. I don't want Grammy's. I want mine. Did you look in your room? Where'd you have it last? I had it with you, remember? Well, sort of. Uh, I think I better go check on Ryan. I just did. She's still asleep. Oh. Maybe you put it somewhere. Uh, what? Little John's drawing pad. If you're For right. heaven's sake, Dee, what difference does it make? Sweetheart, did you look on top of Grandpa's dresser? No. Do that, okay? It's not, uh... Well, it's not on my dresser. Be. It's not on I my say, dresser. You're not senile if you just forget where you put something. Look, but I don't do, think you do, were very do, nice to little John. I was just trying to drop the subject. I, uh... I threw that pad out the other day. I didn't think we needed any reminders of Ken George Jones around here. But it belonged well, to little John. I will get him another one. One, it doesn't hurt his father so much to have to look at. Yeah, but that's not fair. Oh, come on, Dee, that's nonsense. But it's like stealing, and you want to set an example. Dee, could you please just stop talking for a little while? Well, sure. <laughs> Boy, you don't want to hurt Frank, but you sure don't mind hurting me. If you knew how miserable I am.
Barry. Hi, Johnny. Any word about May? Oh, nothing since you called. Uh, look, I, uh, I'm going to go give little John a hand. Hello. Poor dear. Sounded so miserable on the phone, I decided I'd better come over. Hey, don't worry. They will find her. Why don't you come over to my place? Oh, I, I can't. Please, let me take care of you. No, I have to make some more arrangements for your party. I need to invite one last guest. The party isn't important. We are. And we haven't made love since forever. Honey, don't you miss me? Yes. Yes, I do, Barry, very much. You know, you're scaring me a little. Why? Because you're pulling back. You have been for a while. I'm nervous. Well, I keep telling myself that, but... Dee, are we in trouble? No, we're not in trouble. I'm not... I mean... You mean we're going to be married soon? Why else would I be throwing this big party for you? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm so exhausted. Hardly slept at all last night. Well, can I have some of the details of the party? Who's coming? Well, everybody. It's your surprise party. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I won't be very surprised. Yes, you will. Well, you won't be surprised that there's a party, of course, but you'll be surprised things at the party, presents and things. <laughs> Barry, I have to go. Hey. You know what? What? I love you. Thank you. You're welcome. And wherever your head is at, it's OK. I really wanted to sleep with you today. But if that's not possible, I'll find other things to do. And other people to see? Ken, for one. Of course. All I ask is that you remember this. I'm just one phone call away. You can turn to me, lean on me, whatever you need, whenever you're ready. That's very kind. Kind? Well... Well, what, that's like my good deed for the day? Hey, I'm gonna be your husband. You're gonna be my wife. I wish I could be your first. I've forgotten my first. It's gonna be so much better this time. The second time? Yeah, second time around. You're the only woman I will ever want. Should not say that. You never know. I know, Delia. I know. Tell me you know. I know. Okay. Bring on the party. We'll have the reception before the wedding. <laughs> I can't wait. Neither can I. Why, why, why don't we get oh, high and sit down, Mark? No, it's all right, Dan. Right. Back with the pleasure, thank you. Lady, lady! Oh, lady, 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 lady! Oh, sweetheart. Thank God. Are you all right? Sweetheart, are you all right? Oh, John. Uh, sit down. Yeah, sit down here. Sit down. What happened? There you are. I just want to know what happened. I know, I know. Ma found Amy. It was, uh, there was a hidden room after all. But she's fine. She's fine. Amy, uh, Amy had a real breakdown. She's on her way to the hospital. Yes, put the mental Amy hospital. After yeah. Oh, thank God you saved her. No, <laughs> not me. No, it was Jack here. Saved Ma and Amy. Oh. It's terrific. Mm. That's wonderful. Did Bobby help? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where's uh, Ryan? She's in your old room asleep. Faith says she only has a little cold, and I could tell she Jack. wasn't very. Jack. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I never uh, set foot in the basement again. <laughs> All right. 
All right, now, lady, you tell me the whole crazy story, whatever it is, start to finish. Now, don't leave anything out. Don't try and spare my feelings, all right? Maybe, maybe she should see a doctor I've first. I've seen a doctor, John. Bob had an ambulance waiting outside just in case. They ended up taking Amy away in it. Uh oh Well, you don't have to talk right now, sweetheart. You know, I think that it was the first time in my life that I've ever truly known terror. <laughs> I'm dead, but it's a case of mistaken identity. Is it John? <laughs> I lie in this hospital bed helpless. I think we could just say goodbye to him. While my family buries someone else's son. John McBain was a true hero. And my fiance struggles to put her life back together. You were my best friend, John, and you left me all alone. I have to let everyone know I'm alive, but how? The wait is over. One Life to Live, weeknights on SoapNet. Do you have I Can't Believe It's Not Butter? Come with me. I Can't Believe It's Not Butter, with more butter taste. Mmm, it's even better than the original. Better than the original? I'm the guy you always see suffering with sinus pressure and congestion. Well, here's something out of the box. Sudafed PE Quick Dissolve Strips. Fast, maximum strength Sudafed PE in a strip to relieve sinus pressure and congestion. They dissolve instantly with a cooling sensation of menthol that says relief is on its way. <sighs> Sudafed PE Quick Dissolve Strips. And for soothing non-medicated comfort at night, there's Sudacare Vapor Plugs. Have a good night. Lose yourself in the silky smooth taste of Dove chocolate and experience like no other. My moment, my dove. If you're significantly overweight, you've probably seen this commercial. When is a diet pill worth $153 a bottle? When you're more than 20 pounds overweight and every diet plan has failed. Now there's Leptoprin. She's right, but you don't have to pay $153 a bottle to experience significant weight loss. Generics Labs has obtained the exclusive rights to manufacture Leptopril. The same powerful leptoprin SD formula, the same strength, the same amazing weight loss, but for less than half the price. So if you're significantly overweight, you can get the weight loss you want at a price you can finally afford. Leptopril from Generics Labs. Finally, significant weight loss at an affordable price. Order Leptopril risk-free. Call 1-800-591-4517. That's 1-800-591-4517. Order Leptopril now. Call 1-800-591-4517. That's 1-800-591-4517. You're always telling your friends about DirecTV, so why not get paid for it? Help us spread the word, and we'll give you $100. Your friends not only get DirecTV's top-ranking service, they can get a free DirecTV Plus DVR and a free portable DVD player. Then you get a $100 credit on your DirecTV bill. Got a lot of friends? No problem. There's no limit on how many referrals you can make. And for each friend you refer, you get a chance to win two round-trip tickets to Super Bowl 41 in the Refer a Friend sweepstakes. At least you just... Drop the knife, curled up into a little ball like some lost child, and it was over. She nearly killed you. She didn't. I'm alive and well. Well, you handled it beautifully. Jack did, you mean? No, you did. Oh, good. Let's start to argue. That way I'll be sure to know that I'm home and safe again. <laughs> no, no, no. We're going to argue later. Right now, you're going to have anything your heart desires. Oh, I... Let me get you something to eat. No. A little lunch. Sure. Now, sweetheart, have uh, some tea laced with a little good Irish, and maybe some of those great Greek butter biscuits. He'd be just grand with nothing. But you got to have something to eat, sweetheart. No, no, later, John, uh, later. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, can I do something for you? Why don't I help you into bed? Oh, dear, I couldn't sleep in the middle of the day. No, this is just fine right here. And you don't have to keep holding my hand. I mean, I know you're busy. Oh, well, I have one errand. But... Well, then go ahead. I'll be right here when you get back. You promise? I promise. I better get going, too. <laughs> oh, yes. You take it easy. Uh, thank you, dear. Thank I'll you. walk you. No, no, I I'm not going to the Crystal Palace. Now. Well, then I'll walk you wherever you're going. Barry, it's part of your surprise. Oh, okay. 
I'll walk you to the door. So. So. You weren't hurt? No. After that, nothing will ever hurt. <laughs> it's quite a time for all of us, hmm? Mm. Mostly for you, though. Oh, I was thinking beyond for Amy. Poor child. You know who I really missed being here when I came home? Who? Jillian. Have you talked with her lately? No. Not even at the office? We're not sharing the office. She'll be working out of her apartment and then, uh... Well, I suppose that depends on Ken. I know it doesn't depend on me. <clears throat> Francis, are you sure you're being fair to yourself? I'm not sure what it is you're asking, Ma. Ken George Jones is going to die. So the suggestion being that I should wait until he's out of the picture and try again? You're angry. I'm confused. I don't know how to answer your question, Ma. If it is a question, it feels more like a comment. Obviously, I believe the way to be fair to myself is to break it off. Well, obviously, you don't agree. You love Jillian. Sure, sure. So what? She loves you? Yes, she's been foolish with this man. Stupid, I'd like to shake her. But you know, one thing about this experience brought home to me, that life seems so much to be surrounded and have this at the center, the core, the group of people who love us and fear for us and rescue us. And Jillian is one of those people in your life, no matter what she's done to wrong you. Jillian is with Ken now. But there is so much between you that can't be destroyed, son. I mean, you shouldn't throw it away. Ma, please, there's a lot you don't understand. Look, I'm going to let you rest now, okay? I said too much. I'm sorry. No, no. Don't worry about it. I'll call him. All right. Next, seduction rules the bedroom and the boardroom on The Young and the Restless. Then it's All My Children, followed by One Life on SoapNet. He's got game. Women give their number to JT all the time. If you say so. He's got the girl. I'm not leaving early tonight. But one mistake is all it takes to get busted. Sleeping with my dad's fiance is not nothing. Get to know JT Hellstrom, a real heartbreaker with a heart. All I want to do is throw it over. The Young and the Restless, next on SoapNet. I have got the greatest news. Every weekday, spend twice the time with the gang from Beverly Hills. What a way to get acquainted. Double the Dylan, double the David, double the Donna. Catch back-to-back -back episodes of 90210 today starting at 5 with another episode at 6, only on SoapNet. What can I say, man, other than want a double date? TV's hottest night. Would you like to go out to dinner with me tonight? Wow. <laughs> Just got beautiful. Tonight at 8, 7 central, discover the new treasure that 19 million people have already found. You do the math. The season's number one comedy, Ugly Betty. And audiences can't get enough of TV's hottest show, Grey's Anatomy. I'm dating. Nice. All new tonight, starting at 8, 7 central, only on ABC. What could you do in 18 hours? I could learn 40 words of French and hop a flight to Paris. I could shake things up a bit. Beautiful lace all day support from Playtex 18 Hour. Find the beauty in every hour. In 18 hours, I could do anything. Thank you, Glade. Cinnamon. Are you baking a pie? Oh no, it's this candle. It smells like the real thing. Oh, one of the new Glade candles. No, it's French from France. French, huh? Oh, what? You never heard of Glade? <laughs> Introducing Glade's new line of candles, now made with essential oils. You'll believe they're the real thing. They're new. And yes, they're Glade. See Johnson and Family Company.
Oh, now, uh, don't you move. Don't you move. Oh, John, I'm not entirely helpless. I know that, but just uh, let me pretend you are for a little while. What's it going to cost? Uh, where'd Frank go? Oh, Francis left. He had a million things to do at the office, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, did, he, uh, did he mention Jillian? No, he did not. But I'm afraid I put my foot in it. Huh? Oh, well... Let's talk about it later. Why, for now, sit here with me. All right. Here. All right. There you go. Now, let's get cozy. Oh, there we are. Like that. <laughs> I don't know about that kid. How can she be so together after what she's been through? How can she be so smart? So much fun. So pretty. Oh, she's my granddaughter. Oh. Uh, don't give me that look. You set me up for that one. Take it, Miss Ryan is not asleep. Nope. I read her the tale of Snow White and Rose Red. All of it? Couldn't stop. Jack, I don't know how I can ever thank you. No. How we? We got lucky. If I'd never hired Amy, even better, right? Oh, there was no way for anyone to guess. That Amy wasn't what she seemed to be, a cheerful, loving girl. She seemed to be absolutely perfect answer for Ryan. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to do better, huh? Ryan needs more than babysitters. Well, she's got to be going to school, and she has us, and she has your friends, Jumbo and Lou, and... Oh, yeah, Jumbo's great, but uh, I'd want my kid's favorite toy to be the pinball machine at the Gennaro Club. <laughs> Her mother loved pinball. Yes. Her mother. Got to do better than babysitters. Yes. Would you like a toothbrush? No, thank you. I just need a minute in your time. Oh, how about a book? Poetry? No, thanks. Oh, you're not into poetry. I'm giving a party. Oh, splendid. I have just the thing. Now, I can't blow them up for you, but... No, I'm sure. I don't want balloons or anything you're selling. Well, the balloons were a gift. The book you could only borrow. I want to invite you to my party. Why? Because it's for Barry Ryan. See, we're getting married, and I'm inviting all his friends and mine for a special evening at the Crystal Palace. Yes. And I'm including you. Why? I just told you why. But I'm not his friend. Well, you know him, don't you? Well, not as a friend. As what? Thank you all the same. I can't attend, but I'll try to be there in spirit anyway. Oh, oh no, you have to come, really. We're going to have an orchestra and dancing and lots of champagne. It's really going to be fun. I'm sorry. I spend all my evenings with my music. What music? I write songs. They bubble up every evening. Oh, that's right. I think I heard you one day in Ryan's. You want to come sing? You could be the entertainment. Oh, I'd love that. And Barry would get a kick out of it, I know. Oh, one second thought, I think I'll be there. If you give me the time and the date, I'll give you my material for your orchestra leader. I often sing in the key of G. I often don't. Um, I just happen to have my latest song with me. It's called Don't Hurt Me by Lily Darnell. Oh, that sounds perfect. The Young and the Restless hits prime time, along with all your favorite soaps. Don't miss a minute of The Young and the Restless, All My Children, One Life to Live, General Hospital, and Days of Our Lives. Tonight, starting at 7 on SoapNet.